how to drag and drop in mac if you're using macbook air or macbook pro the steps are going to be same now there are few ways by which you can simply use drag and drop option let me start with the basic one if i open one folder and if i open another folder if i want to move this image from downloads folder to data the first thing is the or the first way is i can simply do that with use of one finger so you can click and hold that particular file or folder or image and you can directly drag it to another folder and you can leave it this is how you can use the first method of drag and drop the next way is let's say for example if you are at the end of your trackpad so if you are using only this portion of your trackpad and if you want to drag a file from one folder to another let's say if i want to drag this image i am going to again click and hold and i am going to go to another folder but as my trackpad is over i am unable to go ahead so in that case you can use the second method and that is with one finger you can just click and hold the image or file or folder and with the next finger you can just simply drag like this so this is the second way of dragging and dropping in your mac now for the third way there is a setting which you can do and that is the simplest setting uh, which you can find in your mac for that you need to go in system settings in your mac and once you go in system settings go down select trackpad option and make sure tap to click option is on so if it is blue it is on once you make sure that the tap to click option is on then you can go in accessibility option and over here go down and select pointer control in pointer control you need to select trackpad options now over here you get an option of use trackpad for dragging so turn on this toggle and in dragging style you get three options one is without drag lock another one is with drag lock and the last one is three finger drag so if you want simple method you can select three finger drag and don't forget to select this okay option then only the setting will be saved so if i select okay for now the setting is saved and let me open that folder once again so now if i want to drag without clicking or you know pressing on trackpad all i can do is just point your cursor on the file which you want to move and with the help of three finger all you need to do is you need to simply place the three fingers on the trackpad at the same time and if you move that you can see i'm able to move the file and i can simply drop that to another folder again if i go over here if i tap with three fingers now you can see it's simply you can move anywhere you want and just go on the next folder and drop it so this is how simple it is to use drag and drop feature in your mac so if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i will see you all in the next one thank you